to me, DOA was always the face of that, writing songs about Reagan, <clears throat> Joey Shithead on stage, you know, delivering these, these diatribes. And, and to young people who really should know this stuff, because a lot of stuff gets done with their, in their name, uh, with their tax dollar, even if they might not even be paying taxes yet. It's a world they're walking into. And so I think DOA was very instrumental in that. And that, that's what I was aware of as a young person, kind of meeting the Canadian punk rock scene through Black Flag. In that, you know, I, I joined that band, I became a guy on the road, and I became very aware very quickly of Black Flag's allies. Because we'd sleep on their floor, they sleep on our floor. We had the hook up there, we had the hook up there, you know, and, and many nights on, on the couch or the carpet of, of, of Joey Shithead I spent. And so DOA was not only a great band, it was, it was they were our friends and our allies and, and kind of under the same yoke and, and with a lot of the same objectives. Basically, we're just going to take over the world by playing every, every fucking town. Like every crap bar, we will rock that place and they will love us and we'll come back and we'll see them next time. And that, that to me, always what, what Black Flag was all about, going into what, what, what they call secondary and tertiary markets and loving it. And also, you'd always see DOA in those places too. And um, for a, a, a Canadian band to do that in America, they probably had a few lean nights. There's probably some very, very hungry Tuesday, Wednesday nights in Joplin, Missouri. And to me, the, the DOA vinyl, you know, the early recordings are good. But live, it was just monumental, change your life, blow away time. And that's the mark they left on DC, was like they came through town and we all kind of went, wow, damn. And that was around 80, 81. Mm -hmm. And then boom, I'm in Black Flag. And now I'm peers, you know, they're, they're, they're my friends and, and uh, I, I know them, I play with them. And so it's, it's a band I have a lot of respect for. I was only reactive to that which was reacting to me or perpetrating harm to my, my narrow frame or inconveniencing me, betrammeling me, or trying to throw me in jail. And so I'm aware of a struggle because I was in one. But at age 20 or 22, I was not able to articulate it the way I can now as a guy who's like 47 and with a good deal of retrospect reading and travel behind me. But at the time, that's why I admired those who were naming names and looking at things. All I know is like this cop pulled a gun on me. Mm -hmm. You know, this cop tried to beat me up. Uh, this church group is telling me I'm a Satanist. Uh, this cop planted drugs on me. Uh, that was my struggle. You know, a very immediate arm's length day to day cat and mouse game with authority, authority figures, the media, church groups, local government. Uh, and, and whoever else, uh, you know, skinheads, that was a politic in itself. These, you know, white power, neo-fascist types, that turned into its whole other, the whole awful circus on its own. And, and so I was aware of what was here, right, right here, what I, could, what I had to deal with. I didn't read the newspapers. Hell, man, we couldn't afford a newspaper in those days. We would have eaten the damn thing. I mean, none of us. Our politics were what was next to the van after the show. Um, but I was aware that we were an unwanted quantity, and that there was bigger forces at work who did not like us. I mean, we were, we were wiretapped in Black Flag. We had plain clothes surveillance. They were, I, I remember being able to pick out the narcs at our show, because while the opening bands would play, I, I'd stand next to them and be like, what a narc! And, and like the guy would be looking around, I'm, I'm like, and then soon everyone's like, excuse me, narc! And like the guy would have to leave. I mean, a, a guy in a brown suit at a punk rock gig, you fucking narc you. And, or the plainclothes guys who just sit outside of our little record company next to our van and look into the window all night. Just basically, we're watching you, that cat and mouse thing. It, you know, you lose sleep over stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and so that was my politics. I, didn't, I couldn't name you names. I couldn't tell you about Iran-Contra with much articulation. My, my struggle was right there in front of me. Very real, very immediate, very visceral.